my fellow students here at U of L, the tuition is too damn high. Too damn high, and I've had enough. It's time for all of us to rise. Get up out of your chairs. Get up. Let's take back our schools. Let's take back our state. Let's take back our country. Thank you. <laughs> tuition is too damn high. So January 4, 2012, just last month, you had Gatewood Galbraith, freedom fighter in Kentucky who just died. So that's a great way to bring in the new year. So since he died, that's our Huey Long, that was Kentucky's Huey Long. Since he died, for all you petrochemical, pharmaceutical, military, industrial, multinational, corporate fascist, elite motherfuckers, you can kiss my ass and suck my dick. Gatewood Galbraith is fucking dead, man. Uh, just last week, he had the Senate president, David Williams, he got attacked for the bullshit with the redistricting that he did, that nasty shit that he did to Kathy Stein. The crime rate in Louisville is going up. Last week, I got my bike. Yeah, and then uh, just a week ago, you had uh, Occupy Lexington, KSP, uh, with Jim Gray, Mayor Jim Gray, KSP went in there and they went ahead and invaded Occupy Lexington. So, there goes uh, all the hope for freedom and democracy. You got Gatewood Gabbard is dead. Kathy Stein is no longer representing Lexington. So fuck freedom. The First Amendment, the homeless epidemic that Lexington pretends that it doesn't have with all their white ghettos, such as York Street, Limestone Street. Oh, poor people, you've got to fend for yourselves. Okay, so Governor Steve Brashear, uh, since Kentucky is no longer getting any more Obama bucks, he's going to start slicing the budget up. And he's going to cut college spending by 6.4% across the board and this is the 11th time the Commonwealth has cut, has cut UofL's budget in 11 years. Because you see Steve Brashear, he doesn't really need the money. All he needs, uh, what he's doing right now is he's using a whole host of accounting schemes uh, in order to get around the balanced budget laws. By proposing a budget that's billions of dollars more than the expected revenues, then he'll try to make up the 30 million shortfall even though they went ahead and uh, proposed a budget that was over, uh, not balanced. So the shortfall gives them reasons to have spending cuts from essential services such as U of L's colleges, the uh, future of our uh, of our state. I mean, it's it's unfucking believable what these people, Steve Brashear and the Vultures in Frankfurt, come up with. The budget of Kentucky perpetuates deficit spending. They're not supposed to do that, but they're borrowing billions of dollars from private lenders, even though it's all illegal. And then they make us taxpayers pay more in withholding fees to help increase their cash flow. They sell off the, all the state's assets, they defer the payments, and then they sell off the revenues from tobacco. Staying here next to the Statue of Truth and Justice. Looks like they need to shave. Kentuckians, I know 78% of y'all ain't voting, but you all, you all seeing what your government's doing to you? U of L students? You all paying attention? <laughs> Yeah, I know most of y'all don't vote, so I doubt if y'all paying attention. It's the same shit that Governor Ernie Fletcher has already done, the Republican governor. When Ernie Fletcher was governor, 20% of Kentucky's budget cuts was from up out of U of L. So Ernie Fletcher cut out many U of L projects, including research funding, additional information technology programs, a parking garage expansion, and renovations to a dorm dormitory, the school's basketball practice facility, and a dental research building. So is it pretty cold out here? Ernie Fletcher's reasoning was that U of L had just got a brand new basketball stadium, so we don't need any more new projects. So we got a basketball stadium, that's all the college needs. Fuck the research projects, fuck the supplies that we need. Standing in front of the chemical research building, looking at this, this piece of work, it's supposed to be art. What the, what the fuck is this? What, what is this? They've got all this stupid ass crap around here. This ain't no artist, it looks like a rusty trombone or some shit. I mean, what the fuck? Hell, the budget cuts are being cut so deep, they're cutting uh, funding just for the syllabuses. I had a professor that said they didn't have enough money for the syllabus, so the 10 cents to make a copy, or the 11 cents if you're going to the library, fucking 11 cents. Yeah, if you got a dime, that's not enough. Yeah, you need a dime and a penny. But they cutting syllabuses too. Too damn high. And you got Steve Brashear who's needing all this money. And you know where the money's gonna come from. It's gonna come from us, the college students. 
some of these stuck up yuppies around here, they can afford all the millions of dollars that college puts you through, but I'm working class. $500 to me is rent. And his tuition is just, just too damn high. It's just too damn high, you know? You're gonna be breaking us. Working men don't stand a chance. U of L has increased its tuition the maximum amount allowed by the Council for Post-Secondary Education, CPE, for decades now. And currently right now, tuition's at is $9,000 for the whole year. $9,000, which translates to about $300 per credit hour. So that's $9,000 is what I'm paying for. Between 2006 and 2011, the annual resident undergraduate tuition and mandatory fees for a full-time student at UofL increased from 6,252 to 9,126, which is a 46% increase. And uh, that's according to the data from the evil bastards at the CPE. So that's over five years. It's increased 40. This is too damn high. <laughs> Inflation rates are usually about two to three percent. And since they've raised it 46 percent over five years, when it should have been only 10 to 15 percent if they're only factoring in inflation. So that means our government is flat out robbing us. Tuition is too damn high. Right now I'm paying $9,000 tuition for the 2011-2012 year. Five years ago, it was about $6,000. But in 2004, 2005, which is seven years ago, tuition at U L was $2,520 for in-state residents, which is about $210 per credit. So for the 2003-2004 college year, U of L's tuition was $2,225. $2,225 for a whole year, $2,000. And in the 86-87 year, U of L's tuition was $1,340. $1,340 in 86. And in 85-86 year, tuition for U of L was $1,244 for undergraduates. $1,000. $244. That's what, about three or four credit hours now? $1,000 for an entire year just to go to college. That's a 723% increase. And we only know all the way back to 1985 because the data that U of L is providing only provides us back to that. But $1,000, $1,200. Tuition is way too damn high. Come on, U of L students, time to rise up. There's no overhead projector light bulb in the classroom. Well, if Dr. Ramsey can get his fat salary, Mr. Patino can get his. Right, right. So where's the common U of L student? Where you know, and his tuition goes up at a scholarship or a, what's, what's the word I'm looking for that goes with the financial aid? The financial aid doesn't increase, so you're stuck. The students, we're, I'm, this is like worse. I'm a junior. This is probably the worst I've been. This is my big year. In uh, '84 or '85, tuition was twelve hundred. <laughs> and the tuition is too damn high. Gatewood Gowers is fucking dead, man. Twelve hundred and forty-four dollars for an entire year of college. A thousand dollars. Twelve hundred forty-four. Now college is free for every citizen in Kentucky if you're over sixty-five years of age. Why wouldn't college be free for everybody? We're the most industrialized nation in the world. We're the richest. Shouldn't we stay competitive with the world's market? American revolutionary Thomas Paine, he was for free public education. The countries of the world who provide free education are, of course, the Nordic countries. They're good with everything, democracy and, well, Norway, Finland, Sweden. You also got Denmark, Greece, Argentina, Brazil, Sri Lanka, Hungary, Scotland, Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, Kenya. Uh, Kentucky's own Alice Lloyd College provides free college for poor Appalachians. A Bloomberg Business Week article by Allison Damas last year showed that 11 colleges in America uh, that provide a free education are still currently in op operation. So we got 11 colleges in America. Also, Cuba and Libya. Cuba and Libya has free education for its people. Well, well, Libya used to. <coughs> That's crazy. I'm really white, and I like lattes and. Uh, you know, just, just the typical old white stuff, you know, just walking around, being being white. That are better than legalizing casinos would be to nationalize the coal fields. Uh, we could have a massive land redistribution plan. We could legalize marijuana. We could pass the hemp bill, House Bill 286, which has been endorsed by 12 House members in Kentucky this year in 2012. 
You want some more revenue? Pass the hemp bill, House Bill 286. To step in and start looking at the books that are provided by UofL. They had all those problems with the hospital merger. They weren't putting out the information that we needed. How many administrative officials are making $500,000 for basically doing nothing? It's time for Kentucky Auditor of Public Accounts, Adam Edelin, to stop in and audit UofL. Farrell Ramsey's he proposed to spend $451. $2.2 million dollars in 2010-2011, which is up 3.4% from last year's budget. And this includes a one-time bonus of $1,200 for each UofL faculty and staff member. So they getting bonuses while they jacking up our tuition. But Farrell Ramsey's, he noted that the employees have endured the economic downturn and state funding cuts um, by not receiving raises for the last two years. So, so of course they deserve a raise. They haven't got a raise in two years, which is, by the way, no, I guess it'd be 2008 when the recession started four years ago. So the rest of us had four years of economic downturn. They only had two. Plus they got an endowment of 762. Plus they got an endowment of 762 million dollars. What the fuck are they doing with all that money? Because the tuition is too goddamn motherfucking hot. So Farrah Ramsey's doesn't mind giving himself a raise, giving himself a bunch of bonuses. And what about the staff? He's giving his friends and his buddies bonuses and raises. Meanwhile, our tuition's being jacked up. Tuition is too damn high. <laughs> what you got here on Tuesday, February 7th, all the students are gonna go to the Capitol building. In order for the Barefoot campaign, in order to fulfill our own stereotypes, we're gonna go without no shoes. So you can skip class, ditch the shoes, Join the rally, protest the man, do something. Come on, college student, is this where all the liberals are? Where the fuck are you, liberals? Man, shit's about to go down at noon. All right, let's be there. Johnny, what are you doing? What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? I'm motherfucking occupying, okay? You got all these goddamn bureaucrats in there. They're overpaid, they ain't doing shit. And what are they, they're occupying. They're occupying offices. Statues. Stop it with the fucking slavery, man! Slavery's fucking wrong, dude! Don't you fucking know this shit? Look at me with your fucking blue skin. What you from, Eastern Kentucky? Yeah, so Farrah Ramsey gives himself a race. Meanwhile, only 49% of UL students are even graduating. That's less than half. Less than half of the students are graduating, and we got a 40% retention rate. So 40% of the people who come here for the first year stay here. 60% are leaving. Most of us ain't even graduating. And then we got uh, wages that have been stagnated since the 1970s. Working people, we are fucked. The June meeting coming up, June 2012, is when the U of L's Board of Trustee meeting is going to be meeting up. That's when they're going to raise our tuition. U of L's Board of Trustees is made up of 20 different members, including the SGA president, Curtis Frizzell. Board meetings that are coming up are as follows February 16th, 2012, April 5th, 2012, June 28th and 29th, 2012. And that's for their annual board retreat. And so they're they're going on a board, they're going on a nice little retreat on our tax dollar. That's wonderful. September 13th, 2012, November 8th, 2012. And then they also got three committee meetings, which is May 1st, 2012, May 10th, 2012, and October 11th, 2012. The location for all these meetings it will be uh, in the Jefferson Room, as in Thomas Jefferson, the Jefferson Room in the Guarmar Hall. The Temple of Doom over there. Gateway Gowers is fucking dead, man. The, all the meetings start at 1 p.m. So, students, if you actually want to do something, go to those meetings and protest your public officials. They don't give a fuck about you. They're, we just making them richer. That's all we do. Man, this tuition is just too damn high.